Hey guys, it's Clarissa, and welcome to another episode of The Advice That Nobody Asked For. And our advice for today is expect the worst and hope for the best. Let me tell you why it's such a good mentality. And I'll give you a scenario. Let's say you're in a job interview. Obviously, you want to get the job, right? So, let's say you expected that you would get the job, right? Which is the best case scenario. You expected that you would get the job. And let's say you ended up actually did getting the job. How would you feel? You would feel happy. You would feel overjoyed. You would want to celebrate because your expectations have been met. Because reality aligned with what you expected. So good, right? Win-win. But let's explore the other possibility. What if you ended up not getting the job and you were expecting that you would? How would you feel? You would be depressed, maybe. You would be sad. You would be upset. You would maybe feel even miserable, right? Maybe you would dwell on it for a little while if it's something that you really, really want. So you would feel all of these negative feelings, right? You might even cry, right? Because you were expecting for the best case scenario to happen and that actually ended up not happening. All right, so now let's try expecting the worst. Still hoping for the best, but this time expecting the worst. Same scenario. So I'm expecting not to get the job, right? And this isn't the same as being negative or being pessimistic. It's just being realistic, right? Acknowledging the fact that this is actually a possibility, you know? It can actually happen. And if and when it does happen, what are you going to do about it, right? So it's more of like mentally preparing yourself for, you know, this possibility that may actually happen. So you expect the worst, right? And let's say you actually got the job, right? Even though you were expecting not to get the job, how would you feel? You would still feel happy. You would still feel, you know, overjoyed, celebrate, all of that, right? Same feelings that you would feel if you expected to get the job. Now, what if you didn't get the job, but you were actually kind of already expecting you wouldn't get the job, right? So you already mentally prepared yourself that, okay, if I didn't get the job, I guess, you know, that's fine. I'll just try to get another one. I'll just move on, blah, blah, blah. So you're just kind of, you know, letting that sink in prior to the actual decision. So if you don't get the job and you were expecting not to get the job, how would you feel? Yes, you would still feel, you know, sad and, you know, upset, but not as much. Not as much compared to if you were expecting, like if you were, your expectations were here and then your reality was here. As to if your expectations are here and then, you know, reality is here, then, you know, you kind of have more control over your emotions. Do you see my point? There's nothing wrong with being a realist and, you know, just preparing yourself mentally for all of the possibilities that can happen. So if it does happen, then, you know, it will soften the blow. I mean, that's really the only thing that we can do, right? We can't control things that are beyond our control. But what we can control is how we react to the situation. And expecting the worst actually isn't such a bad thing. Try it. You might be surprised. And that is our advice for today. Thank you so much for joining me in another episode of The Advice That Nobody Asked For. Till next time.